Here we are, people. It's your boy, Bros Taxing this bitch. You already know. You already know. Listen, just a quick shout out before we get started. Uh, just uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. 1,150 subscribers plus. You know, uh, really appreciate the love, the support. I really, really do. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, here we are. Sorry guys, I've got allergies, so you're gonna have to bear with the whole block nose thing and what have you. I wanted to get this console because I did like the Wii U. I think it's a little underrated. Had some decent games on it and uh, you know, I love my gaming. So uh, I thought I'd pick this up. And this is a weird one, right? Because I'm excited about the capabilities of this console more than I am about the actual games right now. The console itself is exciting. It, it's it's slightly different. It's, I guess, in a lot of ways what the Wii U should have been. All that bullshit aside, let's just get on with this. So look, we got a box here. Nice. Nice. So let's open this bad boy up. Wow, look at that. The only reason I didn't go for the colored version because it felt, a, it just looked a bit plasticky to me, but saying that, my boy Michael Baker just did an unboxing beat me to it, and it does look very nice, I'll be honest. Let's just lift this up here. Take a look, look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna leave this to the side for now. Product information. You got your HDMI cable. I'm assuming it's a 1.4. I can't imagine it being a 2.0, but if it is, it is. The very necessary power cable. Without this, people, let's just keep it real. You're fucked. Two of these bad boys, and these simply go on top of the... Is it called the Joy-Con controllers? I guess they are, right? Just to stop them slipping out of your hand and what have you. Hmm. I guess this is where you would place the Joy-Con controllers when you are playing with the console uh, section of this game, which makes sense. And I think it's a big, big, big oversight on Nintendo's part that you cannot charge your controllers whilst you're playing. You need a separate one of these. There is another one. I believe Amazon everywhere else are selling it. It's like £30 over here, £27. I think that's a really silly oversight from Nintendo's part. But then again, it's a business. They're trying to make money in other ways. I get that too, but I don't like it. Now, here we go. Now let's just move the box aside for now. Okay, we've got, but hey, listen guys, I'm sorry. Just bear with me. Oh yeah. Sorry, I just love that stuff. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go, look at this, just look at it. Very, very nice. I was actually curious as to how the back of this looked. Okay, I see. Okay, so let's have a good look here. So you've got your USB 3.0. AC adapter and the HDMI out. Makes sense. Okay, no, so you can close this so the wires obviously come out from here. Okay, so that's neat. I like the whole neat thing right now. Now let's get back to this bad boy. I was expecting these to be pretty light, to be honest. They're not actually that light. They've got some a little nice weight to them. So things slide in from here. And I like the resistance on the thumbsticks. Just open the other one up. Yeah, there is nice. Yeah, because I was thinking my hands are probably too big, but actually, it looks like it could be okay. So, very, very nice. Now, I'll tell you what I don't like, generally. I don't like the bezels around the, the screen. You can see here that, that, that those are where the Joy-Cons stick into place. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Speakers at the back, and obviously, look at that. So it just stands up in this bitch. Nice. I like it. Let's try sticking these bad boys on. There we go. Nice click into place here. Nice click into place there. Nice and easy. It is bigger than I thought it would be, to be honest. Very nice, though. Very slick. You can see already I've got fingerprints on this bitch. But in any case, guys, I would strongly recommend that you get a screen protector for this because you feel the weight. And if this drops, it's done. So I would definitely, definitely recommend that you do this shit. And as you can see, you know, the game, the game goes in there. It's actually very nice, it's actually quite sturdy. I mean, although it is plasticky, it's not very plasticky feeling, which is nice. Uh, like I said, nice weight to it. You know, I don't know, I, I kind of worry about Nintendo a little bit. I, I hope this really works out for them because although they've got plenty of money and what have you, I just, uh, I really hope it works out for them because I don't think the brand can withstand another Wii U. So I would imagine once you're done, this would just click into place like so. Well, there you go. So obviously to remove the back, you just push these pins inwards and, and push up. So 
<laughs> so there we have it, people. A console, a handheld with all the potential in the world. A nice, nice lineup. Nintendo games are A1. Let's just keep it real. Let's hope they actually utilize it to its full potential and start releasing some really good games on it. Because two games at launch, I think, is weak. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I'm sure it's happened before, but at this day and age, I don't think it's a good thing. But they want to space the games out. And I know that Splatoon's around the corner. And I know Mario Kart's around the corner. So it's going to be an interesting year for Nintendo. Let's see what happens, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Definitely hit the like and subscribe button if you like this. I apologize if there are autofocus issues. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to catch you guys soon.